But uh, he's, you know, he's starting day one, you know, on the field. Um, probably the best thing, you know, that uh, happened was he, he went up and, and did that uh, little seven on seven he did with a group of wide receivers. And uh, apparently, you know, he got back and he didn't have any problems from it or any issues. Did he? How do you look? I heard you were there. Good, but yeah. Uh, so um, you know, I'm pretty excited about having him back on the football field uh, full time with those guys. Ron, I know Dave just went through point by point. I'm just curious your reaction on it. Well, we'll we're going to leave it at that, Joe. I mean, th th those all these things concerning that will be you know, Dave Gellman questions. I'll let Dave answer those because he's going to speak for the team in terms of one voice. Uh, yeah, I'm not worried about that part of it. I mean, he's, he's, as Dave said, he's a member of the football team. But any questions dealing with anything else as far as Greg's concern will be Dave questions. No, <clears throat> obviously Cam's full go. Will there be any type of you guys maybe taking a couple reps back from him, or will, will he be as participating as much as he did last training camp? Just as much, <coughs> excuse me, just as much as last training camp. Unless something happens, unless he has an issue or something like that, which we don't foresee. I mean, you know, he's been cleared. He, he's looked good from my understanding. Uh, you know, I saw him today bouncing around, so I'm pretty excited to see him on the football field tomorrow. As far as it with Jonathan Stewart's hammy. Well, you know what? Not, not as much as I think people would think because he's been doing a lot of good things. He had a good OTA in minicamp. He was working very hard. Um, you know, I talked to Jonathan yesterday when he came in to see uh, RV. <coughs> And it wasn't. It didn't seem or sound as as, as serious, you know, as, as as some hamstrings can be. So it's probably just a matter of time. You know, we're not going to pup. We're not going to NFI him. We're going to have him out and around, and he'll be doing some things. He'll be going through walkthroughs. He'll be going through some basic stuff. For the most part, his rehab will be with RV, but he will be in, integrating himself with the team in certain situations. Obviously, your thoughts on, on Kubo, a guy that really talked to close to your offensive line for the second consecutive year, it's just not going to happen at all. Yeah, unfortunately. Um, you know, he's a young man that showed a lot of promise, obviously. He had a good college career, you know, did a lot of good things for us very, very early on. And we got excited about him, and unfortunately, this happened. So we'll see how it goes, and hopefully, you know, he can get it taken care of. And, you know, you just got to look at his, you know, down the line now. Um, I'm not sure on that stuff.